come. Now group 5 is ready. Very often we tell others certain things, but we do not follow those things ourselves. It is very easy to say you know, suppose I tell you from the beginning of the semester you should start studying. Then you might ask me madam did you study when you were our age? Good question is not it? Sometimes we tell you, but we do not do. So, that is the kind of story we have here. So, believe what you tell others, you have to believe what you tell others, unless you believe it, you cannot tell others. That is the theme for this story, that first believe yourself, that is what the theme here is. <coughs> The title of the story is Faith is the Mother of Miracles. Faith, F A I T H, pronounced as faith. Faith is the Mother of Miracles. Faith, is another synonym for faith is belief. So, if you believe something, then only a miraculous thing can happen. That is the story, that is the title of the story. This also is a fairly long story, I will read it twice. Group number 5 be very alert, the others cannot fall asleep also, they also have to be alert. Okay, after good lunch, no not allowed till 4 o'clock not allowed. <clears throat> a milkmaid used to supply milk to a Brahmin priest living on the other side of the river. Owing to the irregularities of the boat service, she could not supply him milk punctually every day. Once being rebuked for her going late, the poor woman said, what can I do? I start early from my house, but have to wait for a long time at the river bank for the boatmen and the passengers. The priest said, woman, they cross the ocean of life by uttering the name of God. Can't you cross this little river? The simple hearted woman became very glad at heart on learning this easy way of crossing the river. From the next day, the milk was being supplied early in the morning. One day, the priest said to the woman, How is it that you are no longer late nowadays? She said, I cross the river by uttering the name of the Lord as you told me to do and do not stand now in need of a boatman. The priest could not believe this and said, can you show me how you cross the river? The woman took him with her and began to walk over the water. Looking behind the woman saw the priest in a sad plight, she said. How is it sir that you are uttering the name of God with your mouth, but at the same time with your hands you are trying to creep your clothes untouched by water. You do not fully rely on him. Okay? That is the story. The priest told the girl that you should believe in God, but he does not believe. He also tries to do. You know, we had one extreme self-help, do not depend on God, do not pray, climb the tree. This is the exact opposite. There are certain places where faith in God is important. You know, not start worrying after your exam. Nobody worries before the exam. If you worry, you will study. We finish writing the exam, then we worry by saying, how many marks will I get? Will I get the topper marks? Will I get full marks and so on? What is the use of worrying after your exam? Then you have to leave it to God by saying, as I wrote, I will get. I can't get anything more than what I wrote. But when you have to study, you can't say, God, please study for me. 
God please write my exam for me that we can't say. So, you can see how two different versions of the story two different aspects of the same thing are there so beautifully explained by Ramakrishna by saying that on one side do not trouble God on the other side have faith in God both are equally relevant not one is not correct the other is not correct always this we call as ethics ethics means choosing the right value for the right situation you know each context we have a new value morality is standard everywhere speak the truth we say that is morality how to speak the truth in what situation to speak the truth where you should not speak at all truth or otherwise this is called ethics suppose you go to a place where you have to speak the truth then you have to choose truth always speak the truth you tell how many marks did you get if they ask you you got only 50 marks you say no I got 65 decent percentage 65 but you can't tell their truth is necessary it is factual you see somebody is committing a crime you say oh I cannot tell the truth because then he will hurt me so we go away from there there you need to speak the truth by saying that please do not do this is wrong we do not do that your friend makes a mistake you go and say see you made a mistake there you need tact you have to say I think you can do better I think you can improve Though we do not say like that we say very rudely we say oh I always speak the truth rudeness is never the truth when a doctor is treating a patient you know patient is lying the doctor knows patient will not live the doctor never says do not worry you are going to die just now the doctor is not a liar the doctor is using ethics so imagine ethics in one place you become self sufficient you say that I will work for myself I will not have my full dependence only on prayer in the other place you say that miracle comes when we have full faith you know I can walk on water when I have faith we have so many such stories ok I will read it once more group 5 a milkmaid used to supply milk to a Brahmin priest living on the other side of the river owing to the irregularities of the boat service she could not supply him milk punctually every day once being rebuked for her going late the poor woman said what can I do I start early from my house but have to wait for a long time at the river bank for the boatmen and the passengers the priest said woman they cross the ocean of life by uttering the name of God can't you cross this little river the simple hearted woman became very glad at heart on learning this easy means of crossing the river from the next day the milk was being supplied early in the morning one day the priest said to the woman how is it that you are no longer late nowadays she said I cross the river by uttering the name of the Lord as you told me to do and do not stand now in need of a boatman the priest could not believe this and said can you show me how you cross the river the woman took him with her and began to walk over the water looking behind the woman saw the priest in a sad plight and said how is it sir that you are uttering the name of God with your mouth but at the same time with your hands you are trying to keep your clothes untouched by water you do not fully rely on him do you get the story ok my name is Rajita so here I am going to tell you a story whose title is faith is the mother of miracles so oh. the theme is believe in yourself 
So there's a, the story begins with a woman who was, uh, who supplies milk to a priest who, st who stays other side of the river. So uh, every day she becomes late to supply the milk on time. Then the priest asks her, why are you late all the time? Then the poor woman replies that uh, she, uh, she comes early to the river, but it's because of the boat she has to wait till the boat comes and all the passengers reach. So she, so the priest tells her that why, uh, they have reached the, they have crossed the ocean by uttering the word of the Lord. Then why can't you just cross this small river with uh, uttering the name of the Lord? So then she believes in him and has faith in his words. So then she again, from the next day, the uh, milk is supplied on time. Then after a few days, the priest asks the woman that, how, how it is possible that you are uh, supplying the milk on time? Then she replies that, I believed in your words and had faith in it. So I just uttered the name of the Lord while crossing the river and I just crossed it. So then after that, uh, he is amazed with her words. Then uh, she tell. Uh, then he asks her that how it. Uh, how did you do that? Uh, can you please show me? So then he. Then both reach the river. So then she start uh, uttering the word of the Lord. Then she crosses. But when she look back at the priest, he uh, who is uh, uttering the word of the uh, name of the Lord uh, from his mouth and just. Uh, making him untouched from the water which is uh, when he's crossing the river. So it means that he is not totally believing in the God as he said to the woman. So uh, moral of the story is that whatever we say, we, ha we should believe in all the, uh, such things which we say. Many of them don't do that because what we believe only we have to say to others. Thank you. This is a pleasant good afternoon to everyone. Had your tummies full? Okay, so uh, today I'm uh, going to just explain about the short story which ma'am was trying to convey. The basic theme is believing in yourself. So once upon a time there used to be a milkmaid uh, whose job was to supply milk uh, to a Brahmin who used to live on the other side of a river. And uh, she had to cross the river daily early in the morning to do her task. And uh, what used to happen is the ferry used to be always like kind of late. And that was the reason she couldn't be punctual in doing her task. So that was a really big hindrance for her. But one day what happened is the Brahmin who was like really dissatisfied with her service, he rebuked her and he told that um, what was the reason for uh, her not being punctual. But uh, she was uh, really uh, helpless in that moment. So she wanted to seek some help and the Brahmin replied that people cross the ocean of life by taking the, by uttering the name of Lord. Ocean of life here is a, a metaphor which uh, tries to signify the problems we have in our lives. So when a person, when a person, anyone could really cross the ocean of life or uh, face all the miseries and the troubles and um, all the hardships of their life by uttering the name of Lord, by having faith in Him, the Almighty, then uh, she could do the same and be punctual in her task. So that was the Brahmin's advice and uh, she actually did the same and uh, from subsequently she used to be regularly punctual. So this was really astonishing for the Brahmin because uh, he knew the fact that the ferry used to be late and the Brahmin tried to like, cross check her. He wanted to confirm like what was going on. And then the woman uh, wanted the Brahmin to accompany her to show him what was actually happening and how she actually crossed the river. While she was holding the hands of the Brahmin and trying to cross the river, uh, they both were uttering the name of Lord. But what happened is the Brahmin, who uh, seemingly had a lot of faith in his words, in whatever he said, he was actually unfaithful and nervous because he was like uh, trying to uh, make his uh, clothes really dry. I mean, he didn't want them to get wet. So he was trying to take care of his clothes. And uh, that showed that he really lacked the faith in whatever he said. So the main theme of the story is miracles can actually happen uh, with faith. But it doesn't see, it is not necessary to be metaphysical like walking over water or it doesn't literally mean that you can move mountains by faith. What basically faith, having faith means is that you can at least move yourself when you have faith. 
you can move your body and you can actually do whatever the task you're supposed to do. So that's the basic thing. And uh, if you don't believe in yourself, how do you expect others to believe in you? So that's what the story tells us. And uh, the basic, th basic thing is actually faith is all around us. When you uh, go to your home, you don't uh, doubt or you don't have a like question if your mother will prepare food for you. You have faith in her. You never doubt that she won't prepare food for you. Is it not? Is it not true? And when you sit on your chair, what happens is you believe in your chair. You have faith in your chair that it won't break off while you sit. So uh, faith is a kind of thing which is like air. It's all around you. You believe in your parents. You believe even in your country. So that's a really abstract idea, but it's very core and uh, it has been embedded into our soul and it's a really important ethic. And the importance of ethics comes into existence here because whatever we say, we are supposed to do it because that improves the value of the word of our mouth. And it's really empowering feeling. So have faith in yourself, lot of faith in yourself and a little bit of faith in me. Thank you guys. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Abhijit and our story is about faith is the mother of miracles. So once there was a milkmaid who used to supply milk to a Brahmin priest who used to live on the other side of the river. She used to get up early in the morning in order to deliver milk to the Brahmin. But she used to be delayed due to the ferryman who used to wait for other passengers to board the boat. She questions herself, what can I do in order to avoid the delay? She asks the Brahmin what she is to do and the Brahmin replies saying that people move People achieve great heights uh, by chanting the name of the Lord. How difficult can it be for you to cross a river? And from that day onwards, the milkmaid delivers the milk on time. And out of curiosity, the Brahmin priest asks the milkmaid how she is so punctual. Then she says, you asked me to chant the name of the Lord and that is how I cross the river every day. So the Brahmin priest wants to witness the milkmaid cross the river and he follows her to the river. And when he tries to mimic the same actions, he fails and the milkmaid wonders how a person's actions can differ from his words. So the story actually reminds me of another story which uh, which goes like, there is a man who sells his belongings and buys material to chisel a mountain. Uh, he buys a chisel, a hammer and rope and he, he, he cuts down a mountain in order to decrease the distance between two places. Uh, he decreases like 16 kilometers and Everyone calls him the man who moved the mountain. So faith can change a person's life and how he sees things. Thank you. A very good afternoon to one and all on the desk and off the desk. My name is Satvika from Become Honors 1B. The title of the story is Faith, in the, faith is the Mother of Miracles and the theme is Believe in Yourself. A milkmaid used to supply milk to a Brahmin priest living on the other side of the river. Owing to the irregularity of the boat service, she can't provide milk regularly. So one day, the priest asked her, what's the problem for the late service? So she replied that, I start early from the home, but the boatman did not arrive on time. Then the priest suggested that many cross oceans but by believing the God, but it's, just a, but it's just a simple river, small river, you can cross it very easily. The next day, the milkmaid then arrived even then, uh, then arrived on the time when the priest got surprised and asked, how did you manage it? So she, so she said that, I crossed the river by altering the name of the God. He asked, he asked, he asked her, how was it possible? Then, it, then, then you just show me how did you cross the river. While she was crossing the river by altering the God, he catches the clothes, uh, he, clatch, he catches the clothes and he tries to prevent his, uh, his clothes to not become wet. So the moral of the story is faith can move mountains. Believe there, believe there is God and he rewards those who sincerely seek him. Thank you. Everyone, my name is Janvi. The title of the story is Faith is Mother of Miracles and the theme is believe in what you say before you tell others. 
The story depicts a milkmaid used to supply milk to the Brahmin priest who lived on the other side of the river. But her milk supply wasn't so punctual. So the uh, priest asks questions the milkmaid, why is it being, being punctual? She replies that because of the late uh, boarding of the boat services, she cannot supply the milk regularly on the perfect time. The, the priest comments on her that they cross the oceans of life by uttering a name of God. Why can't you just do the same? The milkmaid takes these words in a positive way and she practices it from the next day. She then crosses the river by uttering the name of God. Late, l later, when the priest realizes that the milk is being supplied on a regular basis and on the perfect time, he then questions her, how is it possible? The milkmaid then takes the priest to the river bank and shows that she's been crossing the river by uttering the name of God. And also she uh, witnesses a site where the, milkmaid, uh, the priest who has been practicing the same, he's been uttering the name of God, but he's then holding his clothes and not letting it touch the water. This means that the priest wasn't believing in himself. But then he told the same verse to the milkmaid and she believed it. This shows that you need to believe in what you say others. That is, experience makes it better. One point we can say relating to the story. So you can just say that believe in what you say others than doing a, yeah, that's it. thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lalita. So his uh, fifth story is Faith in the Mother of Miracles. Well, a milkmaid used to supply the milk to a Brahmin priest. She used to supply the milk so lately. Once the priest asked her for the reason for being late, she said that she has to cross the river by using the boat. And because of the irregularity of the boat, she always supplies lately. Then the priest told her, people are crossing the ocean, oceans of life. Why can't she cross this little distance by believing in God? So th this suggestion uh, makes her, this suggestion, uh, because of this suggestion, she felt glad. And the next year she supplied the milk so early. The priest shocked and asked her for the reason of being early. She told her, she followed her suggestion and crossed the river by attending the, by attending the goat. He asked her to show how she did that. They, they both went to the river and started crossing the river. When the, maid, when, the, when the maid went to the middle and turned back, the priest was crossing. Uh, he he is uttering the name of the god, but he picking up his clothes while crossing the river. Then the maid told her, you had suggested me to utter the god while crossing, but you didn't follow that. The moral of the story is believing in yourself and a strong conviction makes man become successful in the life. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. This uh, myself, Vipasha. I am Vipasha Olani. Uh, faith. Faith is nothing but complete trust or confidence in something or someone. Faith is the mother of miracle. Is the title of my story. The story began with a milkmaid who used to supply milk to the Brahmin priest who lived on other side of the river. Owing to the irregularity of boat services, she could not reach on time. On being questioned by priest, she says that she is helpless, although she starts early from her house but has to wait for a long time for the boatman to come. The priest says that people can cross oceans of life by uttering the name of God. What is this little river to you? The woman is happy as she found the solution. Uh, from the next day, she is on time. The priest asks her that how could she is able to come on time uh, she says that she uh, follows the advice which has been given by him. The priest is su surprised and he goes with her to the bank, to the river. Uh, she is amused, he is amused to see her waiting over the water, then uh, walking over the water, then even the priest try, but he could not cross. There is a saying that it is easy to say someone, but difficult is to follow. The same happened with the priest. He advises, but he could not even follow himself. Thank you. Good afternoon to one and all. This is Saket Madhav of BCA1C. 
the title of the story is faith is the mother of the miracle with a the theme believe in yourself a milkmaid used to supply milk to a priest who lives on the other side of the river she could not supply punctually as the boat services are not that good once priest asked the milkmaid why are you not punctual in supplying milk then the milkmaid replied that she start early but due to passengers due to passengers and the boat takes long time to reach the shore then the priest said the people that people cross oceans by uttering the name of lord why can't you cross this small river then from the next very next day she comes early to the priest and supplies milk daily early once priest asks nowadays you are able to come fast what is the reason can i know then the then she replied that she believed in the words of the priest and easily crossed the river by uttering the lord's name the priest asked her to show how she could cross the river easily then the milkmaid started uttering the name and crossed the river when she turned back she couldn't she couldn't see the priest crossing the river then she understood that the priest is the one who talks a lot more but who does not believe in who does not believe in himself the, through this we can through this we can understand that priest does not follow what he says and make others to follow his words first we are supposed to follow our beliefs then later we should may ek adjust to follow our words thank you very good afternoon to one and all present here the story that i am going to narrate today the title of the story that i will be narrating today is faith is the mother of miracles once upon a time there was a milkmaid who used to supply milk across the river to a priest due to the irregularity of the boatman she was unable to reach her destination in time and was regularly uh, as uh, was unable to make her deliveries within time in a fit of anger on a one fine day the priest gave her an ultimatum that if she continued this delivery schedule he would remove her from her job in the faith of losing her job <coughs> she asked the priest in a very grieved manner that how could she cross the river in time when the boatman was not supporting then the priest quoted that when one can cross the ocean of life by just chanting the name of the lord why can't you just cross a river moved by these words from the next day she started chanting the name of the lord faithfully and she was able to cross the river in time observing the regular schedule the priest made an inquiry with the milkmaid and asking her that how was she able to make such quick deliveries after the ultimatum given to her she uh, she answered to the priest that it was due to the advice that he gave her the priest who was astonished that she was able to walk on water thought that he had acquired magical powers and was able to make the milkmaid uh, walk across water when he tried to do the same he was unable to do so because he did not have complete faith so the moral of the story is faith is alone not enough you should have unmoving and uh, complete faith only then uh, miracles can happen thank you very good you can now give a clap to group 5 <laughs> they have done a good job <laughs>